Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back again for another review and today I want to talk about one of AWA Upshots, one of the new recent uh, indie publishers that just dropped on the scene. Dropped four bangers from what I'm hearing. I only know about two of them because uh, the other two I'm still waiting on my comic shop to get. So who knows when I'll ever get them with all this crap that's going on. But hope everyone's staying safe and without further ado, I want to talk about Hotel Issue 1, a.k.a. what, Hotel Hell? Let's get into this. Dylan! 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 You son of a bitch. So, this book, man, y'all know I'm a straight-up horror fan. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Y'all know why I'm saying it like that, but, uh, yeah, so, this book straight up gave me, like, Ice Cream, Man, Tales of the Crypt, Vibes, um, and this is written by John Lees, uh, the guy who's writing Mountainhead, the guy who's doing that Sync story I hear so many great things about, which Sync is one I'm trying to track down right now, but it's, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to find, man. So, this is written by John Lees, arts by Dalibor. Talijic, uh, and colorist is Lee Lowridge, Sal Soprano, Ciprino, or is the letterer, Kara Andrews is the cover artist, man, and this was definitely my pick of the week, uh, what was it, not last week, but the week before when this came out, uh, only four issues, so if you guys are horror fans, make sure you jump on this, man, because I want to get a volume two out of this, I definitely want to get a volume two. Each issue seems like it's going to be based on one room of the hotel. As you can see, they show four of the rooms. And you can basically already see uh, the pregnant girl, which this story is about right here. Room two, which we get a little sneak peek of the married couple, which you can see right there. Then you see a little uh, shining, a little good like homage, I'd say, maybe right there. Then you get a little goth, uh, what I'd say, the grudge. Or the ring, no, the ring. The ring girl right there. So, it's going to be very interesting to see what John Lee's done does with this. He's a great horror um, writer. I, uh, I've i enjoyed some of his work. I uh, just ordered Mountainhead, so I'm really excited to check that out. And this issue one just, uh, it really blew me away. It was absolutely creepy as hell. You know, it kind of, it just like how I said, it's uh, kind of like Tales from the Crypt. It has the uh, hotel manager kind of telling the story in a way like how Tales from the, how the Crypt Keeper would kind of get you set up for the story. That's exactly how it is right here. You see how it starts off with the hotel manager, which I thought was cool. And, you know, that just, I love, Tales from the Crypt is one of my all-time favorite, like, uh, TV shows when I was growing up in the 90s. So, this, um... Uh, really uh i really just enjoyed this man and uh this one like i said is about a pregnant lady and uh she is uh she's trying to get away from this uh uh negligent this asshole boyfriend who is beating on her and just is real possessive of her so she's trying to kind of run away from him and she's trying to make sure she can set up a, a better life for her kid than maybe the life she's lived herself she wants to give her her child a better life so she's on the run and she decides that hey i'm tired and i'm gonna stop at this hotel little does she know that this uh this hotel is creepy as hell and she is having some weird dreams weird dreams and she thinks it's dreams of her and her child and uh little does she know that it is like this little uh I'm going to save it. I don't think I really want to tell you because this is one I would highly recommend you picking up. Little does she know, though, that the ch that uh, what she thinks is her child in the dream is something entirely else and is something absolutely creepy and really just, uh, oh, my God, really creepy. That is all I can say, man. And uh, anybody who else has read this, all I've heard them say is, yeah creepy as creepy as hell man did you see that shit and i'm like yeah i saw it 
Uh, so I highly recommend you guys checking this out. Uh, AWA dropped four books on us, four real good books. Uh, I know everyone's saying that all of them are solid. I've only read Hotel and Resistance. Um, I got the other two on PDFs, Archangel and Red Border, but I still I like to read physical, so I was kind of it took me it takes me a little bit to get into that sometimes. So I kind of rather wait for the physical. But if I <clears throat> if I have to for a review, I, I probably will end up just doing reading them on PDF. But you know, um, let me know if you guys picked up any of these AWA books, and let me know what you guys thought of them. Uh, I'm really excited to check out that Archangel and Red Border. I thought Resistance was real well done. Uh, I'll probably end up doing a review for that one as well next. Um, let me know what you guys. Uh, if, or let me know if you guys didn't pick up any of these books or, you know, if you did, like I said, let me know what you thought and let me know down in the comments down below what you thought. And if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button on your way out, hitting that subscribe, hitting that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.